Just the entire, let's change the headline. Do you make mistakes in English? Not really. It's not as good. I mean, it's not near, it's like, it's, it goes from good, awesome to terrible yeah. with one word change. Uh, so less, less known uh, about Sackheim is the big idea, the principle that we're uh, leaning on uh, today, which is uh, his approach of making the advertiser the character. Mm, this is a biggie for us. Uh, here's the, here's the, do you make these mistakes in English, Ed? He says, uh, I ain't, can't hardly. Who was it? Says I, was you. And this is a free booklet on English. Free booklet on English. Um, an interesting example, this one, I, I don't really think we have time to go into detail on this, but an interesting, uh, this was a, um, by the way, in case you're wondering, this, this was advertised in Sherwin Cody's course. Um, does any, anyone ever have that? 150,000 people took that course. Did anyone like, have that floating around your house as a kid? Uh, ad ran for 40 years. Most businesses don't last for 40 years. Um, so this was a Frank E. Davis's, uh, the Gloucester Fisherman ad. Um, it was mail order fish. What's interesting, I want to I tell you about it uh, from my notes here. The ad shows Mr. Davis's awkwardness in writing a letter to sell his fish. Mr. Davis confesses he's neither a writer nor an advertiser. He's a plain fisherman, comfortable close hauling a sail and picking out the best fish of a catch, but not comfortable writing a letter to sell fish. He even questions whether he, what he knows about fishing can benefit him in a business way. The letter is disarming. You can sense an honest man showing his vulnerability, showing his weaknesses, his ugly side. This guy doesn't want to make a fast buck. He just wants to make a living, and he hopes you will help him by buying some of his fish. Of course, it wasn't the fisherman writing this ad at all. It was sack on Very interesting. Get a hold of that piece, the salt natural piece, and read it. It's an interesting, I mean, because all, all of you here are personalities in your advertising, and this is a, an old gem of an example, even though you don't see the guy, that it's written from the person. All mackerel, fat and tender. That's one of the subject of the subheads. Uh, he tells about his method for picking out the right fish that will be included in your ship. The best fish meal ever. Try, what does it say? Uh, uh, try this fish. Try this fish. At my expense. Jo oh, try this fat, juicy mackerel at my expense. That's what he says. He signed it. All right, so of course, uh, some examples to take a look at.